lovely mini makers. Welcome to Made by Mini Makes, a virtual art and craft club for kids and big kids too. Each week we have new themes. It's Heart Work Week. Get it? Heart and artwork. Clever, hey? Heart work. Hmm. Mixed with a little bit of surrealism. Hmm. Did you catch our five day art challenge this week? We embraced the calm and quiet, the mindful making. Mindfulness just simply means to be caught up in the moment, to enjoy seeing what's there and experiencing the here and now. But don't worry if you missed it, you can still catch up by going to our blog. So this week we've been making art based on making our minds and our hearts happy. We all at one time or another feel a bit sad, a bit lonely, angry, or even a little bit worried. But sometimes some of us struggle to shake these thoughts and feelings off. We can sometimes even find it a bit hard to talk about. However, it really helps to talk about it to someone you trust, like your parents, a teacher, or even a friend. It also helps to find activities that help calm you down and even can make you feel a little bit happier, like art. Art's great for cheering you up or calming you down. Today though, we're going to make a creative collage of calm. We're going to make imperfectly perfect art inspired by the surrealist art movement of the mid 1920s. Surrealism was all about creating art inspired by dreams, fantasy and imagination. Artists like Salvador Dali, Frida Kahlo and Andre Breton who made things that wouldn't really exist in real life. Cool, hey? Because we don't get to do that very often. Normally we're told we have to draw something how it looks. Well, that's not always the case in art. So today we're going to step outside reality and embrace the weird and wonderful. So, let's get surreal. Let's get crafty. We're now going to create your circles or whatever shapes you've decided to do. I decided to do circles, so I found lots of different sizes of circular shaped objects so that I could draw around them. Choosing a part of my watercolour painting that I want to show up in the circle, I draw around my bowl to create my circular shape. You can see from the pencil marks which bit will be in the circle and which bit won't once it's cut out. I then simply repeat the same thing using my different sized circular objects. These colourful and patterned shapes that we're creating now will form the background of our composition, the layout of our picture. Once you've finished all your outlines, simply cut them out. So 
something cool and a little bit different to add to our collage painting is to make a 3D pop out effect. I decided I wanted to create my raindrops popping out. So I created the stripes to go behind and the raindrops to go on top. So just make sure that you keep two circles or two shapes, whatever you've chosen, that are exactly the same size that you can use later on as your pop out effect. Once you've finished doing your first sheet, repeat the same thing for the other two sheets of watercolour blobs and doodles. Now, just simply taking a large sheet of card, preferably around A3 size, paint it black. This will give us a plain black background to then start adding our coloured collage pieces over the top. Now comes the exciting part, putting it all together. You'll need all your bits and bobs for this bit. Make sure they're close to hand. Starting off with your background, then start layering your circles or your shapes, whatever it is that you've cut out, onto the top of your paper. I decided for my picture, I wanted to create a garden scene because I absolutely love being outdoors. So I started off with some sky. The blue, purple and green hues reminded me of a stormy evening. And that led into the other half of my sky, my storm. So on the right hand side, I decided to create a little storm with my scrumpled up piece of paper from my magazine as the cloud and some blobs as raindrops and a little bit of grey sky like we often get when it rains. Then I started adding some additional details. For instance, the little V's that I made using my watercolours reminded me of a flock of birds flying through the sky when they're migrating for winter. So I pop these in my sky as well to make it look like I've got birds flying in my sky. The bottom half of my picture is my beautiful garden full of lush green plants, pretty red flowers and a rather odd spoon shaped yellow magnolia tree as I absolutely love magnolia. Again, using the same principle as the sky, I just simply build up the shapes to make it look a little bit like an abstract garden. Keep going, adding all of your paper shapes until you haven't got any of those left. Finally, add your finishing touches and pop yourself in the centre of your picture or wherever you like. My artist mannequin is me, wearing a watermelon skirt and dancing in the garden amongst the flowers. Once you've added all your words and phrases as well, about what art means to you, 
then you can start to glue it down. Very carefully, taking one little bit at a time, you're going to pop some glue on the back and then stick it in place. I recommend looking for shapes that are furthest at the back to start off with. Also, a top tip, you could photograph your composition, your picture, before you start gluing it, just in case once you start moving things around, it moves and you can't remember where they went. Carefully work your way along, taking one corner and one edge at a time. Before you completely finish sticking everything down, leave your pop-out effect until last. Here you can see that my pop-out effect is my raindrops over the top of my stripy circle. Now just for our final touch before our surrealist piece of art is finished. Take your two circles that you were going to use for your pop out effect. Using some corrugated cardboard from a cardboard box, snip it into little tiny squares. These will be like pillows. So the top circle stands out from the bottom circle off the page. Pop some glue on one side of your piece of corrugated cardboard and stick it onto your base circle. Repeat the same thing for the other bit of card. Then add some glue to the tops of the bits of corrugated card. Then simply stick your top circle, your pop out effect on top. And hey presto, your pop out effect in your surrealist collage is complete. And there you have it, your surrealist inspired creative collage of calm.